In this video, I will show you how to convert an MPEG video file to a DVD video NTSC movie. Now, a lot of people have been uh, trying to figure this out. I've seen it on the internet. I even, I even had one of the uh, subscribers of Luis Tutorial TV ask me how to do this. So you can do this with a free program called Any Video Converter, and that's the one I'm using here. You can download it from their website here. I will post a link on the description of their video for their website here. So you can just click on this free download button down here. Click on that button and you'll be able to download it for free from CNET. Just be careful, don't uh, include the bloatware that comes with it. CNET is a, is a website you can trust to download stuff from, but they'll try to throw in extra free programs for you. Just make sure you uncheck those programs and don't download them alright be careful <laughs> alright so here's any video converter I have right now an MPEG-1 video on here it is uh, the music video of Chucky who is ready to jump really cool song and what's cool is on this program if you click on the upper right hand corner over here in this arrow right here you can select so many formats alright but for this video we're, we're gonna do DVD video NTSC movie right here alright you can choose the quality down here I'm gonna select high larger file size and I'm gonna go ahead and hit convert now now this might take a while 6% 7 8 so I'm just gonna pause the video well I'll get back to you guys as soon as this is done alright guys so it's done and this message will come up when it's done. I'll tell you uh, it's done, and it's gonna ask if you want to get it, get the uh, upgraded version. You can just close that. And if you notice, it opened up, it opened up automatically this file here. If we right-click and go to properties. We'll notice that it's a, uh, it's coming up as an MPG file, but it should be a DVD NTSC file anyway you should be able to use it as a DVD file and we're just looks like the video works so there you have it guys that's how you convert an MPEG file to to a DVD video NTSC file alright guys and the reason why it's playing it with VLC and not Windows Media Player is it's a special type of file and Windows Media Player doesn't probably doesn't uh, even um, read it that well. So VLC Player is a really, really good player to use. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully this video has helped you out if you're trying to figure out how to convert it to NTSC. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll be uploading a heck of a lot more videos.